buddy. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? We are live with a little pup cam update. This guy is the feistiest little boy. Well, big boy. I know, I know. Oh, here. His mama will let you get me. We are seeing some action from the babies. And here, let's see. They are 22 days old now. Uh, these guys were literally just awake and screaming and going everywhere. And then they've all fallen asleep. Most of them have fallen asleep. That's the problem trying to get pup cam is that as soon as they are up and, and ready, and then they're uh, sleeping on the job of being cute. Right, boy boy? Right? Yeah. That's one of the big boys. Look how cute he is. He's one of the big boys with his little spot on his butt, too. The cutest. And then these little guys are over here sleeping. I got the rent over there sleeping by himself. Hey, Feral Cheryl, I see you in there. Yeah. I'm going to see if Mama wants to nurse. She has been not wanting to have the babies on her as much. Understandably so. So we're introducing food to them in various stages. And so they will dabble usually make a mess and eating well way to go mom breaking the shit way to freaking go tits miggy and this is what they do all day they're just over here screaming Hi, Mama. What are you doing? What are you doing? Look, she can't live. Look. She's just trying to stand near me. And these guys are going to try to swarm her and take her over and get... Oh, jeez. You guys are just like wrecking balls. Literally, I just cleaned everything up. So you see these guys are wild little things. And I'm going to try to get this camera stable here. Sorry for the movement. I'm going to put it over here. Because I'm going to try to see if they'll eat some food. But if I don't have both hands, they will make... Oh, poor mama. They... <laughs> Look at that poor... poor mama. They will try to make a mess. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay, baby. Sorry, the neighbors are gonna try to come over to see them. Everybody wants to see puppy. Mama, mama. You're gonna hear some noise. My dogs are barking because they don't know what's going on. This is, ah, ah, mama, mama, it's okay, hey. Would you like some milk? Yeah. Would you like some milk? Okay. Here you are. This poor mama, she can't, she literally cannot get any you know, time to herself. Because look, look at these little hellions. They are just not letting her live. Not at all letting her live. But she's finally starting to get some, like take milk, because I've been offering it to her. And she's finally doing it, drinking it, enjoying it. And uh, that's good because it helps her milk production. It's okay. And look at, the, look at these guys. Literally, she stops, she stands still for a second and like, they're just jumping on her. It's ridiculous. Mm 
but this is her everyday life. So I've been separating mommy at night so that she gets a break because I think she needs a break. Um, and she doesn't know if she likes it or not yet. I think she kind of likes it. She likes to try to sleep with them in here, which is normal and good. But uh, when she's in here, this is, this is all that they want to do. And so anytime she gets up or moves, they're going to try to get on her. So, you know, uh, I don't really want mama to be over, overwhelmed more than she is. Like, look at these little sausages. Look at these guys. They've gotten so big. So they've gotten... Oh. There we go. And he's dabbling in the food. Look, he's like trying to eat the little the little puppy chow. So I put a little bit of dry food out when I'm here to watch them. And uh, they're trying to sort of take a kibble, like one little kibble here or there, which is good because they're getting teeth in. You want to show him your teeth, Bobby? Oh no, he's going to get mom. So this is poor mama. She's literally trying to sit to get them off of her. You know, like she doesn't. See how her legs is, you know, she doesn't really want them on her. So during the day, I let her be with the puppies. And then at night, I give her her own space. Um, she's in her own crate, which she also hates. She is pretty naughty, to be honest. Like, she's really good in general. At night, she's a nightmare. Because <laughs> she's just constantly up, like, usually... I usually have to stay up a little later because I'm cleaning the puppies up a hundred times at night, especially. Um, I don't want them sleeping or laying in their own potty overnight. And, hey, mama. And so I usually clean them a handful of times at night and they're getting to the age where they're messy, messy, messy. And they're wiggling and moving. So, yeah, mommy's tired and she's not a big, she's not really big. Like, you know, you could see, like you could see her whole, like her spine and her bones and stuff. She's getting plenty of food. She gets wet food. She gets puppy milk. She gets dry food. And so she gets wet food um, three, two to three times a day, depending on how much she wants to eat. Um, because the puppies also, I'm trying to get them onto some wet food because, you know, it's better for mommy to get a little break. I know, I know. Hold on, we got, a, we, got a, we got a little tired head here. We, somebody just woke up. Hi. You little polar pup. <laughs> you say good morning? Yeah. You don't want to move, huh? Okay. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> he doesn't want to, he does not want to get up at all. Okay. Okay, mama. It's okay. If you're sleeping, you can sleep. So mom is overly tired, and so I've been separating her at night because I do want her to get a break, and I want her, I wanted her to get more sleep. And honestly, I wanted for her to let us get some sleep because she is really naughty at night. She will, like, scratch the door and scream and whine about anywhere from three to five times a night, starting at about 1.30 to 2.30. It's usually 2 to 2.30 is her, like, main time. She usually settles in for an hour or two. Like, I usually tuck her in about 11.30 before I put her up after letting her out. You know, once the puppies go to sleep, she gets to run around the house with, with you know, either by herself or with my dogs. And, uh, look at these little chunks. Look at the little chunks. I, I know. Oh, you got kibble on your head, dude. <laughs> A mess. Uh, so... She gets a lot of extra time when they go to bed, which is what she needs. She gets to just be a dog with no puppies on her. So I have the puppies in here closed up, and then she gets to go and just gallivant around the house and outside. And we got a few sleepers over here and over here. Uh, it's only separated like this because I literally was cleaning half of it at a time because they're so messy. So I cleaned one half, separated them, and the other half while I cleaned. And, uh, yeah, so we're going through potty pads like nobody's business. These puppies are, which is good. They know what, they know where to use it. So they're, they're smart in that. 
And uh, yeah, mama, mama is a night owl, it seems, and she wants to just go outside and just sit in the backyard. So I can tell she was definitely on the streets for a while because she just goes out there and just wants to stay out there like for 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. And I'm, it's like two in the morning, five in the morning. So I have not been getting a lot of sleep with her and the pups, mainly because of her at night. The pups will, they'll move and they'll make some noise. And usually there's a few of them in here. There's a few in the litter that are uh, ridiculously like just screamers. They, they scream about any and everything. Uh, the bigger boy, the two bigger boys over here with the brown, those are the two main uh, ones that scream about everything. And so they will wiggle out of their playpen and scream about it until I get up and uh, come and, you know, rock them around like, you know, like they're little babies. Like I have all the towels and stuff over here. This is literally for grab and go, clean towels in the middle of the night. Or if they potty, I can clean it up really quick. Uh, paper towels are everywhere. Potty pads, paper towels, all the fun stuff. And uh, so, yeah, we're going through all the everythings. It is uh, a lot of fun, a lot of work, but um, yeah. Um, I don't know what breed the mommy or puppies are. They have really, like, so I think they shaved her at the, sh like, before I picked her up at the shelter, I think, to give her, because she had fleas. I'm guessing to give her, like, some medication. And she's got pretty thick, like, coarse fur. But her face, they said, looked like, um, what'd they say? Is it a... I don't know, she's got a, a peculiar face, but then her body almost looks like, someone said cattle dog, someone said the puppies look kind of Akita, someone said chow chow, I think, I don't know, maybe there's some type of shepherd mix or something. Um, you know, five of the puppies are just all white, and then they're starting to get some colors like around their muzzle. Look, she's going to say, fuck them, fuck them kids, I don't want them on me. Okay, mama. Oh, Does that not hurt everybody? That hurts all of us to see. Look, little fat boy's gonna go try to get her. It <laughs> Come here, baby. Come here. <laughs> so this is what we hear in the middle of the night. He just cries. <laughs> he just is a screamer. <laughs> He's a titty baby and a, and a screamer. Thank you for uh, the people that have been so sweet and sent in, like, some uh, puppy food and wet food and some toys and... Uh, Thank you, Stephanie, for sending kibble and potty pads. I'm so excited about the potty pads um, because I have, uh, I've gone through so much uh, that I didn't think I was going to go through so quickly, which, you know, is fine. But I think normally I take, I take the pregnant mamas and so normally the babies are born here. So I got these guys from the shelter when they were already born and they were like a good, what was it, nine, ten days old. So it seems like it, time's going so quickly, but it's because I just took them once they were already born. And so usually I have another week or two before I'm, you know, worrying about the potty pads. But since they're three weeks now, they're 22 days. You just want to say hi? You want to say hi? Hi. You want to say hi? Yeah. And so they definitely have teeth and they have the sharpest little nails. I know. What do you think? And they like to chew on stuff. Well, they like to chew on me anyway, which is fine because their teeth are not. Can we show me your teethies? <laughs> like they're not really all the way in, but they are definitely coming in. So they are definitely, you know, starting to pup. They're starting to turn into pups, and they still are kind of funny because they can't. They can't walk. Like if you'll see him, he's gonna start slipping. He can't walk on the floor. Um, he can't get a grip. So I have to have you know, blankets and bedding and stuff around for them to be able to, to, to do that. Oh, you're going to walk into the milk? You want to see milk? 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 And this is what they do all day is they walk into it. And they kind of are starting to kind of, which I'm super excited about. I've been giving them milk every, like offering it every day for a bit after they got wormed. Uh, they all they all had lot, loads of worms, which was really cute. Um, fun to fun to clean up, but it's uh, good that they got out because normally they wouldn't even be wormed until they were um, until like what next week I think they go in for their shots. So normally they wouldn't have even gotten wormed until then. But um, because I was a little concerned about them, 
Um, I was a little bit, I'm, an, I'm a foster mom and I've seen so many puppies that I was like, mm, I bet you they got worms because I saw mommy had worms. So pups will get the worms from their mommy. You know, they just inherit them. So we wormed them and they all had loads of worms, um, which is good to get out, gross to clean up. But I think they've been getting some really good steady weight gains now that they don't have any worms in there, which is great because now I'm, I'm not so concerned. Like now when they eat, I know that they're getting all the nutrition and all the good stuff is going right to them. So yeah, super pup. I do think that mom kind of like, she does look kind of sharp. Hey, like, and look, they do honestly use the puppy pad. Like you saw that little guy just used the puppy pad, which is cool because you know, I mean, they'll do it wherever they're at, but if there's a puppy pad, it makes it a lot easier just to clean up and go. Where are you going over there, baby? Hi. What are you doing? Here, let me say hi. You want to say hi? Look at that face. Look at that face. And look at that face. That's one of the big boys. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the big boys. Why are you so hot? Look at that. He's like tired from, I'm not sure what. Yeah, would you like to try some? So if they're going to try something new, you guys are going to see them. They're going to try a little bit of baby food, and usually, oh, he likes it. This is literally baby food. It's just chicken with gravy, and he's trying to chew it because he doesn't know. And I like this because it's liquid, but it's protein liquid. I know. So a lot of times if I'm worried about uh, sickly babies or... Just like transitioning, I will make them a nice little mixture of mush like this. Want to try some? Yeah. Because these guys will stick, oh gosh, they'll stick their head right in it. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, why don't you come over here? You can eat. Look, 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 right here, right here, right here. Right there. Look. <laughs> so they really do like this stuff. So I'll probably add this to the wish list because it's about a dollar a can or a jar. But for seven puppies, food goes through pretty quickly. But this is one of the things that I really like because it helps them uh, get good protein and, I'm, and it helps fill their bellies. And it's really easy to pop open and, you know, I, I just have a little plastic spoon in here because I wasn't sure this is their first time trying it. And I think that they really like it. So this is like one of those random weird kind of staples that like if you ever do fostering or rescue at all, this is such a good thing to have because you can, it's unopened, it's a small jar, easy to have around. But if you have anybody that's not feeling good, this is something that most cat, cats, kittens, dogs, puppies will eat. Look, look, look. She smelled it. Look at her, look at her. She smelled it. She's coming over. Oh, you eating the baby stuff? She's taking that in a quickness. Mama said, no thanks. I'm just going to get this. Yeah, they do look like polar pups. I agree. They are cute and I don't know what their breed is but they definitely could have more than one daddy oh that's in the milk baby oh that's in the milk baby good girl so they're doing really good though they got their their wormies out at least for now and they'll get dewormed again they are messy puppies and they are teething as you can see your paws all wet bud And they are super cute. And look at these guys. They're super cute. Uh, no names just yet. I have one puppy that's one of the girls that's going to be named um, after Pearl Snappy's friend that passed away. And her name was Kay. And I think um, we're going to either name the puppy KK or that'll be the nickname, depending on if there's like a cute name that has a really cute meaning that starts with the letter K. But that's the only thing that um, I have so far. Look at these little babies. So we're doing that, you know, in support. Look at that baby. Can you say hi. You like your new stuffy? Um, mommy is licking this can jar dry. Uh, so no name just yet. Um, 
Mama's still just Highway Mama is what the shelter named her because she was found off the side of a highway. You cleaned it. Yeah, she's eating good here. And look at look at these little hooligans. So no memes yet, but this is a little check-in. I meant to do this yesterday and I ran out of time because they were three weeks exactly yesterday. And uh, today they're 22 days, which is great. They're doing pretty good. They're healthy. They're growing. They're, uh, you know, giving mom a little bit of, a little bit of trouble, but not too much. They're pretty sweet. They're pretty docile. They're pretty chill. They just like to sleep all day and then they do wake up at night and move around and you know, pretty normal puppy stuff. And this one is the smallest. So he is, I know, I know you were sleeping. <laughs> I know. Let's come over here. So he is the smallest and he was the runt. And so, here, here, Bubba. He was the one that I was a little bit worried about because he had, he was a lot smaller, but now he's pretty much, he's probably a little bit bigger than this one now. He's been making some really good weight gain, um, which is nice, but, and he eats really good. He had a slight little cough that I was concerned about, but he seems good now, right? And he's so cute. He looks like, someone said a Pekingese dog or like, I don't know, some little cute designer you know, those little cute, fluffy, like, like Yorkie and something like that. Are you just going to give up? Okay. He literally just laid back and said, I'm done. <laughs> he looks like a little baby polar bear pup. And uh, he still has really blue eyes. And he's the cutest. He went on a little Starbucks uh, trip in the morning. So he went on his first car ride last week. And then I took him outside today. Just so he could see because the sun came out. And I wanted him to see what it's like to be a big dog. And look how big he is now. Like, he is just really making some really good weight gain. Say hi. Yeah, you say hi. The fluffiest of fluffies. So they're all doing really good right now. They are just making messes and trying to get on their mama. And poor Utters over here. She doesn't, she wants a break. So usually... Besides this, because she wanted to bust in here, I had her out before the live, but she wanted to come in, which is fine. Normally, I let her go and hang out in the house, and she's trying to learn to coexist with my dog. She's pretty good with out there, out, like outside of the pups, and she's trying to figure out what a cat is, because I got kitties, and so she's trying to sort of figure out if it's a friend or a toy, and she's doing pretty good with that. She just kind of sort of, if they run, she sometimes will chase. You say hi. You say hi, little floofy booty. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a little, a little pup update. A little pup update. They are at the three week mark. Next week, they're going to go in for their first set of shots, which is really cool. I can't believe it's already here. Um, but, yeah, they'll be getting their first set of puppy shots next week. And they'll be getting some more dewormer, which is good. Because I'll probably need it. Yeah. Where are you going? You want to say hi? So they're getting all the cuddles. And they're chewing on me. Which is, you know, it doesn't hurt right now. Which is good. I'm sure it will when, they, when they're like canines are really coming. You want to show me a canine? No? You're going to be shy? Hey, being shy? Okay. And this is again, this, this little guy was the runt. So he's really made some good gains. I'm really, I'm really happy because he was the one I was really concerned about. He would sleep a little bit more than the others and I was worried that he wasn't eating enough. And so I would wake him up for feedings by himself with mama. And I tried to give him a little bit of milk when he was younger, like a little syringe feeding and he did not like it. So, which is fine. I would prefer him to be on mommy. He's the sweetest little boy. And I think these guys will get adopted so quickly. I don't have any control over who adopts them. They just go to the shelter and get adopted. So I won't. No, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. I probably won't get updates, which, you know, kind of makes me sad. Yeah. Do you want to see your siblings? There you go. Yeah. Here. Here. 
and this is what they do when they just like give up they just splay out like that all of them because they don't know how to like sometimes it's hard for them to walk and their back feet just give out and they just give out and just start laying and sitting like that and then it's just like okay well it's good so you got these little guys that are up and then you got the sleeping crew over here oh we got a puppy dream got a little puppy dream happening here uh oh uh oh Oh, baby. I'm gonna pop a dream. So this is the peaceful, quiet side. Got that little guy sleeping too. And then we got these guys that probably in the next five to ten minutes, you see they're just starting to get, they're starting to, like, look, these two are gonna go to sleep. This one's asleep. One's trying to harass his mommy. Because why not? I guess. And then this little cutie, I woke him up, so he'll probably move around for a little bit. And then I'll probably fall asleep soon. So this is why I'm kind of doing the lives are hard because they're still sleeping an awful lot, which is normal and good. But it's hard to catch them when they're doing all their cute stuff because they'll they do play fight. Oh. <laughs> you rolled over. <laughs> and they do they, they, that one especially that one with the brown. He snores. He's he needs a really good name. He's definitely like a little shit stir for sure. He's just a chunk, but a sweet boy, but he's just, you know, he lets everybody know how he feels about everything, no matter good, better, or otherwise. So he needs a good name. And then, so I'm still trying to figure out their, their personalities are starting to come in, which is nice. And I think in the next week, two weeks, they're going to have so much fun playing. They're still not sure what a toy is yet. They got a teething ring, but... They do not quite know what to do with it. So I've put a little bit of like wet food on it and I've put my finger, let them chew on that, and then given them that. What are you doing? What are you doing? This guy likes to be tucked in. So he's really cute because I'll just like tuck them all in. A lot of them will just sit here and just sleep like this. But this is, a, this is their Tuesday night. And you can tell my dog is barking because probably one of my kids is coming in the house. So this is their a day late, three week pup date. And uh, thanks for joining guys. I know there's another live that I saw, so I don't want to do too long because that's an important one. But everyone's doing good and I'll do another live hopefully soon. Thank you for tuning in and seeing the foster pups. Bye.